Let's take a look at Modern Warfare 3's Season 1 update, yeah. what content we're getting Damn. for multiplayer in terms of new maps, weapons, Yo. modes, the Warzone map integration, new zombies. We really getting content in the game? Zombies DLC, a holiday event, and much more. But first up Damn. here, when is this season? Yo, that's gonna be fake news, bro. With Call of Duty, there's never new content, bro. Releasing Season 1 is expected to release on Wednesday, December 6th at... So that's like literally a month after the game is coming out on the 10th and come the, 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 the season is coming on the 6th. Right Probably now. the same times as usual, nah, 12 p.m. Eastern, around 5 p.m. UK. We'll update those times as we get closer to the launch of the game and hopefully as well we get actual ample time to yeah. preload the season <laughs> on all platforms at the same time. Yeah, there's always hopefully with Call of Duty oh. though. There's always, there's never a maybe be Call of Duty. There's always, a, hopefully we get this, hopefully we get that. Like the video. Let's go for three likes on the video. I mean, damn, I want to know about the maps though. Maybe this joint by my, my, my uh, might be good. Though. I'm as you guys probably saw with MW2 last year or this past year, we yeah, saw no PlayStation content. always get a head start preloading these updates, which may not be a big deal to some people, but for others on Xbox and PC who want to play the update right when it goes live, we don't have any time to preload. We have to download the update when it goes live. So while PlayStation players are play PlayStation gamers, Sony ponies rise up! <laughs> But for the last time, because next year, suckers, I mean, suckers ended up getting it. Xbox, Microsoft, they bought, they bought Daddy Phil Spender. They bought, uh, they bought Call of Duty, guys. Bruh. They bought it. But Phil Spender has said that they will keep content parity, though, which means that the beta for now, they have confirmed that the betas for Call of Duty are going to come out day one on the PlayStation and Xbox, which is a massive W, though. That means everybody's gonna get the content at the same time, but beta at least, not the content. I should actually watch what I'm saying because uh, you never know, but that's what he alluded to. So definitely a plus one for Phil though. Playing the update right when it comes out, Xbox and PC players have to download the entire update. And sometimes these updates are huge, huge file sizes. Like for nah, bro, they are not huge. They are bigger than, they are bigger than this, bro. Come on, man. Season 5 where you literally lose a 50 gigabyte file size, which oh was insane God. for a 50 gigabytes? You crazy? And yeah, we are actually hearing that Modern Warfare 3 with high textures. And if you do not have Modern Warfare 2, because it was giving sickness that error where you have to install or you would have to put in your PlayStation disc of Modern Warfare 2 when you have purchased Modern Warfare 3 telling people that it's a DLC, confirming to people that it's a DLC. And Modern Warfare 3, make no mistake, it's a DLC. But And, and it's gonna gobble up 234 gigs with high textures. Without the high textures, it's gonna be 213 gigs. Bruh. If you have Modern Warfare 2 installed digitally, then it's gonna be like, I, I heard like less than that. Uh, not sure how much, but season one, bruh. God damn, man, 53 gigs. <laughs> This time, let's hope it's uh, 52 gigs, okay? One Reloaded gigs, update. Gigs. Now, of course, it was big to further optimize the game, and it ended up being a smaller file later on after you downloaded it, but still, for a lot of people, that 50 gigs took a while to download. And they were yeah, stuck bro. waiting for several... There are brothers out there with 5 megabytes per download speed, 1 megabyte per download speed. It is Joe over for them. Bro. ...hours downloading the update and not playing the content. So, hopefully, again, we have preloads for all platforms <laughs> at least a day before the update comes out so we could all play at the same time we'll see very soon yeah. what they end up doing ne next year i can certainly see that happen though. That first up here for new weapons of the course mess. these will be available in a multiplayer yep. zombies and wars and we have a bunch of leaks about what we could be seeing here in this first update now the first one here i talked about on the channel before we have the axe and the shovel melee weapons returning at some point of course, if these are already in the files of the game, that means they're coming sooner than later. So I would say one of these will probably release with the season one's update. We usually get a melee weapon or two. I, I just hope that we actually get it. And I hope that it's not a DLC in terms of uh, buying it from the store like the friendly. Okay, I swear to God, I'm not gonna do I'm gonna stop, guys. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Every new season at oh, the yeah, launch so. of the season, especially. So let me know down below which one would you rather see at the start of season one the axe or the shovel for actual weapons here. Here's a whole list five guns apparently for MW3's season Damn. one for the launch. So it got Ram 7, uh, real name is Taylor, TAC, uh, XRK, HRM, and ARX uh, 60 is probably the fifth, but cannot confirm. Okay, fair. I mean, season one getting five weapons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Like I said before, guys, this sucker is gonna be a recycled game. Okay. This sucker is gonna be a recycled game. So at this point, I would not mind if they turn this be 
this game, this join into our Call of Duty Online Fest though. For the longest amount of time, me and my brothers, we wanted a game like Call of Duty Online with all the maps, uh, this and that. But I, 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 I but, but, and they are coming up with a recycled game, but they're calling it brand new and it's not. Three hours came eight. Okay, 16 remaster recycled maps, although the maps are good, they are the original Modern Warfare 2, but I mean, damn, they're calling it brand new and charging people 70. I think the the, the noise that, that's going around and the, the fact that people are hating, I wouldn't even say people are hating, I think people are justified in their criticism and thinking that it's recycled and DLC because it literally is a DLC. Let's be real, it has been found in the game files that it is a DLC, it should have been 40 max. 30 that would be an ideal 30 usd should have been an ideal price for this circuit but activision they likes money they likes money they likes money so that that's why these suckers are like uh, okay we're gonna shell for 70 dollars and people are so dumb that they're gonna pay for it and that's exactly what what's happening you guys know this i mean listen guys i i said it before man if you like it go for it and a lot of you suckers are saying i'm buying it i'm buying it and a lot of you suckers are said that Skizzle, I know this is gonna be a DLC, this is recycled, but they got my money, man. I cannot, I gotta play the game. I, I get it, man, that's a Call of Duty addiction, and at the end of the day, bro, well, what else you gonna play, right? You gonna play Spider-Man 2 once, you gonna play Starfield a little bit, right? That's about it, though, you know, that's about it. These are single-player games, how long can you play them? Call of Duty at least gonna last a little bit, right? So I get it, but but damn, at this point, they should turn this into a recycled warfare completely, though. Because right now, it's a bra and clown warfare, though. Here, we have the Ram Call 7 Online. assault Make rifle. Happen, the real name is the IWI Taver X95. Evil Vare or Evil Vare LMG. What about the... the uh, Season the 2, 3, and beyond. What? So these guns are in the files are either Yo. DLC weapons or just straight up scrapped. So a lot of these- Okay, so we got the Ber Beretta, that's gonna be Call of Duty Ghost Team Season. Yeah, there are a lot of rumors going around that we're gonna be getting like Ghost Season, uh, Advanced Warfare Season. This is why I'm saying, dog. like this, they should turn Modern Warfare 3 into a Call of Duty Online Warfare. Like the video if you agree, even though it's, this is coming from somebody that has not pre-ordered the game. Like I said before, if two, month, two months after launch, they do the fans uh, justice, they don't do the fans dirty, they don't go crazy with the microtransactions and the friendly UAV online and crap like that, and they actually have decent and good and new content, then I might get it like two months, three months, maybe even five months after launch. Damn! If Sega's loving it, then yeah, why not? The, the only reason I'm not buying right now, the only reason I did not, is because right now the game is just not in a good state though. Let's be real. Gameplay looking fun though, but if the content is there, then it might be a cop. Right, I truly hope they turn it into a Call of Duty Online. Though. Could be scrapped as well, but we have a Beretta ARX-160 as I yeah. just mentioned. Maybe for a... Okay, what about this though? I want to know about the, the maps though. Where are the maps, bruh? New multiplayer maps. But for new maps here, there's a lot of interesting stuff to go through. So here's what they said so far. Expect the flow of free post-launch content, including core 6v6 maps and additional multiplayer content to continue after launch. As previously stated, we'll have over 12 all new core Damn. 6v6 maps in our seasons with three all new 6v6 maps hitting in season one and three uh -huh. all new 6v6 maps also hitting in season two yeah. along with addition. Damn. Oh, shit. Damn! Yo! Now listen, man, I said it before though. Obviously, these maps are remain to be seen. This promise has remained to be seen. So don't start jumping out, don't start shaking, don't start doing helicopters with your release, guys. But this is good because uh, you know with the uh, Modern Warfare 2022 with the game that had the uh, friendly you you feel what I'm saying? That game got one new map after five months. <laughs> You did not misheard me. That game got a new map after five months, guys. <laughs> Boom, so it is getting three new maps after season. Although, I mean, like, damn, right? The game is launching with zero new maps. So, like, damn, right? Damn. So, obviously, the game, is, you know, with season one, they're going to launch with three maps. And it's going to sound good. But let's be real, right? The game has zero new maps. So, they are like, okay, with season one, we're going to give you three new maps. Like... In order to like, say, "Yari pancho," something you can do with three months. Yeah, cut it up, but you, yeah, to see, pagal, sorry, the warm co chutia banana. Well, sorry, the warm co pagal banana. One week, new map, new dial. The game can start me. But then, to see, like, three new map, they can as a san karo. Just cut it up, but you, shame karo. Shame, nala dub karo. Me, ni ni, teddy, ki pancho, cut it, cut it up, but you, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's looking quite good. It's looking. Bruh. 
additional maps and modes throughout future seasons. So they're already confirming season one, three new 6v6 maps. Now the wording here is what a lot of people have been debating. They yeah. say all new 6v6 maps. Now to some people that means uniquely made maps. To other people that just means new maps. Some of them could be remasters that yeah. are technically- There we go boys. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, it is Joe. Yep. With this company, you never know if a new map is truly new or just like reskin and they call it new, right? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, true though. I mean, I don't blame anybody for it. ...new to the game. Now, in my opinion, way. there's definitely remasters in that as well. By all new, they definitely mean a remaster, maybe a uniquely Rip. made map as well. I, I doubt we're going to have all just unique maps yeah. for the entire season. It's just not real. Impossible. Like, and honestly, it's not a big deal. I don't mind seeing some remix. Yeah, I'll you love getting the Activision. Cut! Uh, I, I get it, brother. I get it, homie. Rather than focus on uniquely made maps, but again, not a big deal. Not now, a big for deal. season one, what maps for Call of Duty fans? It's never a big deal. Exactly, are we getting? I, I mean, for <laughs> sure, it's this is the most obvious one. We got this leak here. Shipment yeah. will be returning to MW3. Yeah. No clue if it's the MW2 version or not likely isn't on launch either so honest to honestly though yeah this is good news we heard that there will be four maps that are going to be coming back from modern warfare 2 in modern warfare 3 including shoot house as well and i think that's good though i i genuinely feel like that going forward though you know call of duty can have new maps at launch and we can have maps from the previous call of duty games come out as is i would not mind if nuketown come out in this joint bruh you feel what I'm saying? That's, you know, we should have new maps and then they can have remaster maps or maps as is, like porting over maps, the same qual. For example, they can deadass have Black Ops 1 Nuketown, you know, PC quality, PC version from the 2010s, the original one, deadass in this game. I would not mind it. But obviously they have remastered Nuketown a million times already, so they can have the remaster map. Bruh. The last version that they worked on for Black Ops 4. You feel what I'm saying? They can have, they can report maps over as a bonus, as a cherry on top. But y'all suckers gotta have new maps though. Fan service would be if you suckers drop like remaster maps that you worked on previously or porting maps over, remastering again as you know, again, uh, for the second time in the game. I, I mean, listen, giving that to your fans uh, for free or, you know, putting that in your season alongside new mess. I mean, damn, wouldn't be too bad, but it's just bad when you guys are remastering the entire game, calling it brand new and charging people $70 when you know it's a DLC and it's been proven it's a DLC. We have reports. We also got the receipts as well, where, you know, you suckers were demanding suckers to put their Modern Warfare 2 disc to continue playing Modern Warfare 3. When they bought Modern Warfare 3, you claiming it's a brand new game, right? But it is not. That's what I'm saying, guys. That's the only thing. Otherwise, bro, if they were charging 30 or 40, obviously, suckers would have been complaining, but suckers wouldn't have been complaining to this degree, though. Especially when we know 3 hours campaign, which is uh, A, very short, and B, it is uh, mediocre. I seen the entire walkthrough. I did not buy. I seen it, and you can see reviews from everybody on that. Okay. This probably will be one of these season one MP maps we get. Shipment is in all of these Call of Duties nowadays, and it's gonna return in MW3. But the question is, is this one of the new six v six MP maps, or is this a yeah. part of the MW2 <laughs> carry forward maps, which just got? Call of Duty fans are always in fear, ladies and gentlemen. But this literally just happened. Guys, click on this video on the screen because once you see this video, you will be in fear as well. Oh, shit. Click on it and I will see you right now.